In this video, I'm gonna show you a simple yet effective method of color correcting your images. So typically you're either gonna have a orange cast on your image or a blue cast. The blue one is usually if your kind of settings are off when you're outside and yellow like orange is usually when your settings are off inside. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is go over and add a new layer. So this box with the plus in it, then we're gonna go edit and fill or shift F5, change contents to 50% gray and click OK. Then go over to your blend mode. So it says normal here, switch it to difference. Then we're gonna go down and add an adjustment layer. So this little half circle thing right here, click on that and put a threshold on it above there. And then just slide this slider until you have pretty much the last little bit of black left. So I'm gonna to go to about you know, there. So this little black part right here is my most prominent part. I'm gonna go over to my eyedropper tool right here, hold shift and click on that spot. And that's gonna put a marker that we're gonna come back to after. Then just hide or delete. And I'm actually gonna delete. So I'm gonna click on this one, hold control, click on the other one and just trash those two layers that we added on. Then from this one, we're gonna add another adjustment layer. So back to the little half circle thing. This time it's gonna be a curves and we're gonna to go to the second picker. So this is the black picker, white picker. This is for a gray point. So click on that one and then just go and click on that marker that we picked. So boom, right there. So that might fix it like perfectly and it might not. So right now mine's not perfect, perfect, and that's okay. But I'm gonna show you that you can actually click wherever you want on the image. You don't have to do this if you don't want. So I'm gonna hide this, go back to the move tool, and then click on the gray point thing again. And you can see that if I click like on his face here, it's gonna look really bad. Maybe I try the wall, still looks bad. Maybe the shadow right here. So that looks pretty decent. And I'm gonna try maybe on his badge here, it looks a little bit gray. So, you know, that looks pretty good. So if I compare that to this, you know, this like magenta that's in here, I actually prefer this instead. That's a kind of better starting point for me. Okay, so once you've either used that method or you've clicked around to get kind of a look that you really like that's pretty close, then the next thing we're gonna do is hold control and click on our layer zero. So they're both selected then just go control J to duplicate them and then control E to merge them. Then right click, convert it to a smart object and go up to filter and camera raw filter. There's plenty of ways to color correct. Uh, you know, camera raw filter is just my method of choice. So then I'm gonna go to white balance and I'm just gonna use the auto. I'm gonna drop this down and click on auto. And you can see that that already does a pretty good job. Now, if you want to use your temperature sliders to adjust it a little bit, like I can see this is maybe a little bit blue, so I might you know, slide it back a bit and maybe add a little bit of green instead of that uh, magenta over here. So you can use those, but I don't, I just like to do those a little bit. And then I'm just gonna quickly slide all the way down here until I get to split toning. Then all I do is I crank saturation up to about halfway and then I use the hue slider till I get something that looks pretty good. So in here, that looks okay, but I'm gonna keep sliding. And you can see there was this little gap right there. That looks pretty good, somewhere in like that. I'm looking at, you know, just the highlights for this, right? So then I'm gonna slide this back all the way and then kind of slide it along until I get, you know, the spot that I like. So I think I kind of like somewhere in there. That looks pretty good. Then I'm gonna do the exact same thing for my shadow. So I'm gonna crank this up and then slide my hue until, and this time I'm kind of just looking at what it's doing to the brownness of the table. So that's a little bit too far, you know, somewhere in there, that brown looks pretty good. And then same thing, just slide this back and then slide it along until I kind of get the look that I like. So maybe somewhere in there like that. And then that's pretty much it. You can go down here then to your, you know, shadows here and you can slide this along. So maybe that, you know, impacts it. So you can kind of impact your shadows a little bit more. I'm gonna go this way just a little bit, I guess. And none of these other ones for me, uh, I don't need to do anything. You might, so if you have, you know, a little bit too much of one color, you could 
try and, you know, use these to kind of take it away or adjust it a little bit. So maybe, you know, a little bit of orange direction there instead of this pink. So you can play around with those. And then I just like to go back up to the top and go to vibrance and saturation and just kind of see if I can add a little bit back in there or not. Like I don't want to go too far, but I'm going to just punch it up just a little bit. And that's pretty much it. Now when we click OK, you can see that it jumps over to that. And if I hold Alt or Option and I click on this eyeball next to my original one, that was the original. And that's what we did to it. Now, the reason why we put it as a camera raw filter here is, as a smart object is so now if we don't like something, like maybe this has a little bit too much, I don't know, whatever in there, whatever color, because I think it looks pretty good. So maybe let's say you have a little bit too much green. You can just double click and go back in here adjust what you need. So I'm going to go back up to the top, maybe add some of that, you know, magenta back in instead. And then, you know, whatever you got to do, maybe you want to add some contrast, do whatever, click OK. And then boom, there's your final image. And that's pretty much it. That's how you quickly correct an image's color in Photoshop. If you got something out of this video, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you next time.